Hi, my name is Regina Pondo and welcome to this video. In Kibera, which is in Nairobi, Kenya, homes are extremely susceptible to flooding. Over 50% of Kibera's household flooded in 2015 and climate change is exacerbating rainy seasons. The pressing need for action on flooding in the context of climate change and ongoing urbanization has led Konkoi Design Initiative, KDI, to work on physical and socioeconomic aspects of flood resilience at the local scale, but also a watershed level understanding of flood risk with government and technical partners in a co-produced perspective. Now to tackle this issue, the Kibera Public Space Project aims to co-develop solutions for flooding and other challenges in the informal settlement by building a network of community-designed and managed public spaces that reduce flood risk, provide access to core services, and create new income-generating opportunities. Thus, the objective of this video today is to understand through this example of the KPSPs of how to co-produce of, of how co-produced spaces can address challenges of climatic risk adaptation and how co-production can improve the resilience of the population. In 2006, KDI began working with residents of the informal settlement of Kibera to design and activate a network of productive public spaces that could meet their physical, social and economic needs. KDI's approach to designing the spaces was through co-design work with the stakeholders all together. The process to develop each site is completely collaborative, connecting local um, expertise and knowledge with technical resources. The challenge is not to impose formal technical solutions from outside. KDI's site-by-site -site work with communities ensures that where technical solutions are employed, they are firmly rooted in the specificities of place and have strong demand side ownership. More precisely, KDI worked with community groups and residents to design the built components of each site through an iterative series of workshops. At the same time, residents learn management skills and develop programs and businesses to bring the sites to life. In each project, community members, including children and youth, are consulted in needs assessment, co-design, and building phases. Methods such as drawing, modeling, song and dance, and building with bricks similar to Legos are employed to involve children and to understand their needs, priorities, and ideas for change. Moreover, every KDI site integrates multiple key services that the community might need through in multifunctional buildings and, amen and amenities. For instance, the community hall in one site serves as a gathering space, a school, a place of worship, but is designed so that its rooftop captures rainwater, reducing flood risk and irrigating a connected greenhouse. KDI has gained trust and a reputation for delivery that we have leveraged in negotiations with the local and national government, helping to connect the knowledge and insights of informal residents to official policy-making processes. In 2016, for example, KDI negotiated, a, KDI signed a memorandum of understanding with the County Department of Public Works to address flood risks in hotspots along the Ngong River using data from nearly 1,000 households and community groups. In 2018, we began working with the Kenya Meteorological Department to make clima, climate and weather information more accessible to residents of Kibera and other informal settlements in Nairobi. In conclusion, the holistic and co-produced approach of the Kibera Public Space Project has helped to strengthen the resilience of neighborhoods and its peoples. The project helps to reduce climate risk through river remediation, climate adapted infrastructure, and the community awareness while providing safe water, sanitation, playgrounds, and services typically only found in formal parts of Nairobi. The project has also been a catalyst for shifting lines and enabling the recognition of these neighborhoods and the modes of production of the city from below, of the informal city. Thank you for watching this video.